shibum, shibum, boom, boom, boom. Boom, shibum, shibum, boom, boom, boom. Explore the jungle, swing from vines, climb a mountain, run with lions, secret tunnels and ancient ruins. Don't you worry, we'll be there soon. Fantastic, that's what you say when you're having a thumping day. Fantastic, get people ready, get ready for a thumping day. Boom, shibum, shibum, boom, boom, boom. boom. Calling from near and far In the kingdom of King Babar Fantastic! That's what you say When you're having a thumping day Fantastic! Get people Get ready for a thumping day Boom, she boom, she boom, 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 boom Prince Badu! Prince Badu, there he is! Solo, aren't you guys supposed to be teaching us to be better pilots? Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Ah. Don't dismay! Chiku's on the way! Woohoo! <laughs> Chiku, the junior pilot's handbook says during a rescue mission, all pilots must help one another. Yep! Ah. <laughs> Return to base camp at once. Pilots, there's no question your flying skills are top notch. <laughs> yeah! But there is more to being a junior pilot than pedal power and fast reflexes. You were supposed to train your students on how to perform a proper rescue. I'm giving you a new assignment. <gasps> Solo flying? Private pilot practice? Rhino rocky time? You'll teach your students how to fly in arrow formation past observation rock. Huh? Oh, formation flying? <laughs> That's boring. Pilot sends students to your Zoomer blimps. Propeller? Huh? Check. Struts? Check. Blimp balloon inflated? <sighs> so, Wadi, I already checked that stuff. Check. The Junior Pilot's Handbook says, all junior pilots shall inspect their zoomer blimps before flying. Now I just have to check the wind speed and air temperature. Oh, and the bird traffic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we fly right up yeah. style. Rudy, I've flown before, you know. I even have my own zoomer blimp. Just keep your lips zipped and don't touch my controls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'll ever learn tricky flying moves like that? How about we start with the most important move? A mid-air reverse pedal stop? Nope. Flying in a straight line. <sighs> okay, I'm ready to fly. We're less than a monkey's tail off the ground, Sawadi. Higher, go higher. The junior pilot's handbook says, first time pilots must keep low to the... Whoa! <laughs> okay, Tersh. As a pilot, you gotta be air aware, so you can handle a zoomer blimp in all conditions. Headwinds, tailwinds, crosswinds, updrafts, downdrafts. Got it? Good. Now pick the place you wanna go. Say, that tree, and fly towards it. Oh! Easy turns, not hard ones. Sun moves can make the zoomer blimp spin. And pedal! Oh, Don't no. forget to pedal! Yeah, 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 yeah. Pilots and students move into arrow formation. Woohoo! Let's go! Yeah! <gasps> Don't let go of the control! Pause off! We can't get in formation if you're flying in circles. So, Wadi, you're too low and too slow. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I told you to fly in a straight line. So, Wadi, you should have flown higher. I'm grounding you for balloon busting, Monroe. 
pilots, you've had enough training for one day. And so have I. Pilots, the goal of your assignment was to teach your students to fly in arrow formation. Did any of you achieve that goal? I didn't think so. Well, you'll have another chance tomorrow. All solo flying is cancelled. Pilots, dismissed. It's not fair that I have to fly with a pin cushion for a co-pilot. At least Monroe knows how to fly, and Zwadi's learned the basics. From reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> Tersh is never going to make a good pilot. I can't so be a good pilot. Easy right, easy left. I'm Sky Proctorsh. Gotta be air aware. Easy right, easy left. Easy right, easy left. It's a great day for flying. But where's Tersh? <gasps> Your silver blimp's gone, Bill. Maybe he heard what Badu said about him last night and flew home. I said he'd never make a good pilot. Badu, that is not the junior pilot way. I'd better start a search for him. Your Majesty, according to the junior pilot's handbook, a blimp liner covers more ground in a search. Right you are, Zawadi. Run ahead to the blimp field and have them prepare a ship for me. Train for my Zuma blimp. That's bad, Boo. Tersh can steer, but he won't be able to power the ship. The wind could blow him right off the map. We gotta find him. Come on. Huh? <laughs> Boo, the wind is changing. That Marabou is gliding on air currents going that away. And that's the way the wind is blowing Tersh. Chiku, where did you learn how to read bird traffic? From Zawadi. <laughs> it was in the junior pilot handbook. <gasps> there he is! He's drifting into Windsong Canyon! Rudy, Chiku and I have flown the canyon before. We'll go after him. You guys wait here. Anywhere he can fly, I can fly. <clears throat> okay, fine. We can fly. Gotta be air aware. Gotta be air aware. Gotta be air aware. Setting moves, fly in a straight line. Now, easy right, easy left, and easy right. <gasps> oh. Oh, I, uh, hard right, hard right! <laughs> Looks like Tersh learned something from you after all, Boo. Woohoo! Thumpin', you did it! Cool! Rich Bandu, I'm sorry I let your Zoomer blimp get blown away. Tersh, that was tusk flying! Wow! Boo! He's heading straight for Blowy Bluffs! We'll catch him! Get ready to throw the life ring! We're not gonna make it, Boo! Wow! Ah! Wow! Ah! We're getting too close to those bluffs! Full power to those pedals!
Oh, no way we could let a piece of sweet machinery like that get smashed. That's one thing we can agree on. <laughs> Good job, pilots. Now follow me back to camp. Arrow formation. Tersh, I'm sorry about what I said. You're gonna be a great pilot one day. Gee, thanks, Badu. Maybe I will be, if I have the right teacher. Well said, Tersh. It shouldn't take an emergency to bring out the best in all of you. Remember the code of the skies. Help others every, every day. day. Treat all oh, with respect, respect every way. Let's get you and Tersh back in the air, Boo. I'll get a wrench and some bolts for your drivetrain. And I'll show you how to tighten up Rhino style. The Junior Pilot Handbook says a drivetrain must be well oiled. Now that is the Junior Pilot way. <laughs> something quite marvelous, young prince. Surely the royal chef can use these to make his scrumptious candied coconut cream cake? Why, that's a fine idea, Ambassador. Thank you. Are you okay, Mr. Handy Hippo? Let us see, shall we? Nothing strange, nothing broken. Tillash, you croco catastrophe. I've warned you about your bad banana manners. Sorry, Uncle. Sorry, Mr. Handy Hippo. Nephew come poops. Let us help you, sir. Oh. Maybe I'm still dizzy from that needle nap spin, but was the ambassador just being nice? He's never nice. Unless he wants something. My gut is telling me we should keep an eye on him. Is everyone all right? What happened? It was the crocs, Mom! I? My? Why? I mean, it had to be! Badu, what you're saying is very serious. Did you see how the statue was knocked over? Lady Periwinkle, if I or my nephews were accidentally the cause of this, uh, accident, you have my sincerest apologies. <laughs> uh, no, Ambassador. Thank you for saving me. Why are the crocs hanging around the royal kitchen? I don't know. Maybe because they smell candied coconut cream cake? Whoa! <gasps> Five, six, and seven scrumptious layers. But it is stacked the wrong way. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Your cake, your culinary greatness. Merci. I gotta admit it, Pooh. 
Crocodilus has some serious moves. Yes, he does. Finally, now we'll see what the crocs are really up to. They're heading for the king's study. What do we do, Boo? We'll scale croc attack. No, I want to catch them in the act of, well, um, whatever it is they're up to. Aha! Uh -huh. We've got you now. Ah, oh, King Babar. Well, this is a surprise. <gasps> Pappy, we just caught Crocodilus in the act of... of... Of inviting you, oh marvelous majesty, to a special event. I had planned to leave this on your desk, but now that you're here, I can invite you in person. But, but... Thank you. A most thoughtful invitation. I accept. There's... Been some chatter around the palace, Ambassador. I hear you and your nephews have been most helpful lately. Mm. <laughs> oh! Is this when we give the king his surprise, Uncle? Shh! <laughs> it wouldn't be a surprise if you tell him about it, Tersh. <laughs> a surprise from Crocodilus? He must be up to something. You know, Ambassador, I was just thinking how nice it would be to play a game of croquet. Would you care to join me? <gasps> I would be honored, your imperial elephantness. Croquet? With the crocs? There's no way my pappy is falling for Crocodilus' nice act. Is there? I don't know, Boo. Maybe he isn't acting. Where are Delash and Tersh? Tarsh was looking forward to giving my pappy his surprise. First, you're suspicious when they are around. Now you're suspicious when they're not around? <clears throat> Your exalted excellency, King Babar, please accept this small gift as a sign of the everlasting friendship between Celesteville and the crocodile slogs. <laughs> It's a very good likeness. Thank you, Ambassador. I will be sure to give it a place of honor in the art gallery. Uh, surely such a valuable gift should be placed in a more, uh, uh, secure location. Is the statue not meant to be looked at, Ambassador? Of course, your royal regality, but, uh, a, a statue this beautiful will only draw attention away from the other statues in your gallery. Perhaps it would be better off somewhere else, say, uh, the royal treasure chamber? The treasure chamber? There's no way my pappy's gonna go for that. The royal treasure chamber. That's a capital idea, <gasps> Ambassador. I don't get it. Maybe my gut was wrong, Munro. What do you mean? My pappy seems to trust Crocodilus, and the ambassador did give him a... Well, a big gift. Hey! Oh, get off! Tersh and Delash, they're inside the statue. That's why Crocodilus wanted the statue moved to the treasure chamber. Old Crocodilus could empty the place. Come on, we have to tell my pappy. Can I help you, Prince Badu? Guard, where's the king? Hmm, he's off on very important business. He left orders that he was not to be disturbed. Nitz and Nacts, the crocs are hiding inside the statue. I heard them. I think you must be mistaken, Prince. Your gut was right about Crocodilus, Boo. What's it telling you to do now? It's telling me to move that statue as far away from the treasure chamber as we can, like to the guardhouse. I'm at your command, Captain Prince Palliser. <laughs> when do we jump out and yell surprise to the king? It's just us, Sam and Bernard, the royal movers. Thieves! Bandits! Oh! Stop! Whoa! 
Out of my way, you silly speed bump! Surprise? I'd say the surprise is on your uncle. Pappy? You knew the crocs were inside the statue? I had a hunch, Batu. The ambassador was a little too determined to have the statue put into the treasure chamber. Oh, whatever, whatever do you mean, Your Majesty? Ah! My nephews were supposed to jump out and surprise you. <laughs> As part of the gift, of course. Guards, escort the ambassador to his quarters. Oh! Yay! Can we ride in the statue again, Uncle? That was fun. I'm sorry about the mess, Pappy. I just had a feeling about the Crocs. I should have known you wouldn't be fooled. Oh, don't apologize, Padu. You helped save the royal treasury by listening to your gut. Sometimes your gut is all you have to go on. Now, what say we collect Monroe and go have a nice game of croquet? Pappy, my gut tells me that that would be a tusk-tastic idea. <laughs>